Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy, and today we're going to be going over this article I found on Time, the 25 best inventions of 2017. I have an opinion about some of them, not too much on other ones. We're going to be going over two main things, the idea of the product and the design of the product. <music> First thing is Jibo, and it is a robot that you can relate to. I like the idea. It's um, definitely a very futuristic idea. Maybe a little bit too early for its time, but as a product of itself, it's cool. I like how it's very like humanistic and they did it in a very clever way. All of these parting lines here are asymmetrical. It doesn't rotate on a level axis. Same goes here with this parting line. And also right here is a giant screen that it shows up a face or something like that and it could be mad at you or sad or happy. At $900, that's quite an expensive toy, probably only reserved for the rich. Glasses that give sight to the blind by eSight3, definitely helping a lot of people. And you could tell just by looking at it that it's been designed from a talented group of designers. Because sometimes you could tell that things are designed either from like somebody that appreciates design, somebody that is a mechanical engineer, or somebody that is actually really good at industrial design. Next is guilt-free ice cream. Personally, I would say to just eat normal ice cream and <laughs> maybe just not eat too much of it and perhaps work out. But guilt-free ice cream, I heard too is not as good as real ice creams. Makeup shades for every skin tone. Mugs that heat your coffee just right. So this is a kind of a cool idea. I like that someone actually attempted it. For 80 bucks, I hope that the design would be better. I mean, I'm not saying that it looks bad, but it's not like something that I'm like, wow, I want to buy that right now. It's sexy. I want to have that right on my you know, counter next to my laptop where I could sip at it and people will think I'm cool. Elevators that move beyond up and down. This is super cool to me. I'm not quite sure if they actually pulled it off yet, but... Uh, the idea is that it's able to go up and down like normal elevators, but then left and right. So I guess you could go to other parts of that same level. What blows my mind is that it can also jump from skyscraper to skyscraper. So you don't even need to get out, walk across the street and into the other skyscraper. If they can expand the same idea, these elevators go to residential neighborhoods and stuff like that to where it'll just take you home from work and then to home. Like you would never need to use a car anymore that's crazy a smarter smartphone it definitely is smarter definitely is sexier definitely the true upgrade from the very first iphone which i think dictated the design of pretty much every other iphone a lot of people can talk shit about the iphones but you know apple they have made the the, the phone a jewelry type of piece it's very sexy it's very you know it's made of premium materials but if you think about it Phones shouldn't be like that. It should be kind of rugged because we're always using them. We're always dropping them. People wrap a case around them. Why don't just build the ruggedness into the design of a phone? But we don't because I think Apple has decided to choose this design direction and now everybody kind of follows suit. This very pearly, very premium, very shiny looking product. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or Behance, I recently posted some concepts of a GoPro phone and I'm going to be producing more of these uh, select brands that you wouldn't expect to create phones so if you guys don't follow me on those social medias definitely go do that so that you don't miss any of those a hijab that empowers muslim athletes don't really have too much to say about this one because i'm not a muslim and i'm not a woman but if this is a problem then good on you nike as far as the design of it it looks not too flashy a lot of this is the fit of them and the materials that uh, will be used clinics that redefine preventative care this product definitely is going to be all about the execution and of course the interior design I mean look at all this it looks very futuristic and I'm all about that futuristic stuff a shoe engineered to boost performance it's very simple all about materials so if all of this structure here does boost performance I would like to see how they actually developed the idea and tested it or is it just marketing a lot of their newer type of shoes at the mall and dang they're looking super cool 
cool. I wouldn't be surprised if Adidas passes Nike anytime soon. Ooh, look at that. Tesla Model 3. I think that every car on the road is going to be an electric car with the exception of a few gasoline powered cars, you know, probably like some Ferraris and Lamborghinis that people still want to keep around. Tesla is trying to be able to make these electric cars affordable. Definitely a lot cheaper than the Model S. If they can get it down to $20,000, it would be crazy. I would say that would be the actual price that most people can afford. Something like around a Honda Civic price. A portable wearable breast pump. Probably be more interested in this if I had a kid myself. As far as the design, it looks like a boob <laughs> with some buttons on it. It looks like an iRobot boob. Moving on. A simpler home security system. I've set up security systems before, not for myself, but for a company that I used to work for. And it's actually very complicated. I'd like to see how Nest does with this. They are a subsidiary to Google. Hopefully this will turn out to be as good as their other products. A craft that will probe beyond the surface of Mars. Wow, there's no price on it. I'm sure it costs way more money than all of these other products on this list. A VR headset that stands alone. So recently I went to an IDC conference in Portland, Oregon, and they pretty much talked about VR and how it's gonna be like the future and everything is gonna be all about VR. Not quite sure if they are sponsored by VR, but they were really promoting it. So maybe it will be the future because you know it's literally gonna be like the matrix if the technology really gets that good, which I'm sure it will. As far as the design, it's nice, simple, and sleek. Uh, not too much details into it, but a lot of form. I'd like to see how it fits on my head and feels. A DIY cooking companion. It's supposed to be like a cooktop that connected to an app on your phone and it tells you when to flip your steak and helps you cook. It's gimmicky, you know? Personally, I feel that you should learn that yourself, learn when to flip the steak, how to cook your own steak, $150. Like this shape right here and just the pattern of the cooktop looks very cool, very modern. I like the design a lot, but as far as the idea, not too much. Drones that put selfie sticks to shame. Okay, this is a bad headline already. I've always been a big fan of drones and they're just keep making them smaller and smaller and better. And I wouldn't ever compare something like this to a selfie stick because they can do way more than that. An air filter that zaps away pollutants. Not quite sure how much pollutants people are worried about. And at this price, $7.99 plus? But as far as the design, again, very sleek, very simple, very modern, um, not too many details. Pretty much just a cylindrical shape with technology built in and a very thin handle. All right, Uber adaptable airless tire. This is awesome. Uh, I don't think it's a new idea, but the, probably the way that they did it and maybe trying to implement them is gonna be way better than the original thing that I saw like a couple years ago. Kind of freaks me out looking at all that kind of stuff though. A Wi-Fi router that safeguards your smart home. So very interesting design right off the bat. As far as the idea, very cool. Definitely needs more safeguards for your smart home because with all of this connectivity now with our phones, crazy how easy that people can just like hack into your router. You know, with all of this identity thefts, you know, you can't be too safe nowadays being online. Wristbands that help babies get a better start. All right, that's interesting. Nothing really too much to say about it other than when I look at this product, it doesn't look very sexy. Not as a rendering, probably not in real life, but maybe babies will love it. A game gaming console that lets you play anywhere. The Nintendo Switch, this is cool. If you guys are gamers out there, uh, I remember having the Wii myself. I don't really play too many games nowadays, but oh my gosh, I used to love that. I used to play games all the time. But if you guys wanna be kick-ass awesome designers, sometimes you gotta give up that kind of stuff. As far as the design, I think it's very clever just being able to detach these controllers and have this kind of portable screen. Stronger, safer football helmet. Whoa, just looking at this, the design of it is kick ass. I like it a lot. It has this kind of like raised middle part, um, kind of like a built-in mohawk. These heavy duty bars that certainly look like they're gonna protect the football player because football is a crazy sport full of injuries and brain damage and being able to protect their brains and their heads and stuff like that, I'm all for that. Super sustainable crops. Nice, awesome, nice rendering. 
the ultimate distractor. Okay, I think this is the last one. The fidget spinner. Something that I want to eventually make myself. It's just such a simple product that came out of nowhere and nobody expected it. And it just became this you know, crazy sensation. You would never expect a product like this to have gone as far as it did. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with any of your design friends and leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about. If you guys are learning something and enjoying these videos, definitely hit that subscribe button so that more videos come right to you guys. All right, this is Jimmy and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.